Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Uh, on our way to Providence, Rhode Island for a tournament. Um, I want to talk a little bit of recruiting again. I've been talking a lot lately, and I've been getting a lot of emails. Uh, I've been getting a lot of comments on my YouTube page uh, saying that, you know, there's a decent amount of videos, recruiting videos, that aren't super encouraging the players and, and making some of them feel like this is going to be a really difficult process and that playing college baseball is, is you know, really, really hard. And what, what my response has been is I'm just trying to tell the truth. And, you know, playing – Playing college baseball is really, really tough, and it's not going to be super, super easy. And the numbers are actually against most players playing. You know, only less than 10% of high school players are going to play college baseball. The numbers fluctuate depending on where you look, but it's usually around like a 6-7% of players are going to play. And I think there's kind of this misconception that you know, if you want to play college baseball, then then you can. That there's a college for you to play, and that's not always the case. And I've seen a lot of players that play high school baseball and are decent high school baseball players, and they don't end up playing college baseball. So when I'm doing these videos, I want to make sure that everyone kind of understands that. It isn't, an, it isn't a super easy process, and you're going to have to put in a lot of work, and you can't just go and, and play and just wait for all the colleges to just come after you because that's, that only happens to like less than 1% of players where they just step on the field and play, and boom, they're like, everybody wants them. That, that doesn't happen for the majority of guys. And the system is kind of set up to make people think that you know, again, if if you if you spend some money and if you if you get out there and you know you, if you want to play college baseball and, and you play travel ball or if you go to these showcases or if you play in these certain tournaments or if you know these people if you got this recruiting coach that you're just going to play college baseball because that's all it takes and that's not the case. Does that stuff help? Yeah, that a lot of that stuff does help, but just because you do all that stuff, just because you play. You know, travel baseball, and you and you and you pay to go to a camp or, or a showcase. That doesn't mean really anything. It doesn't mean that you're gonna get a college scholarship or get a a, a roster spot at a, at a college. And a lot of times, people think that. You know, I talk to people. They say, "Yeah, but I but I played summer ball. I played travel ball. Or yeah, but I went to this I went to this showcase, and that's awesome. But in the end, like I say, I try to say to everybody is. You've got to have the skill set that warrants it, and there's a lot of kids out there. There's a lot, a lot of kids out there, and you're now competing with kids from all over the country. And, and you know, players are used to competing with players in their town or you know at their school. Maybe even you know, you either go to a public school and you're competing against guys in your grade or your you know your high school, or you you go to a, a private school and maybe there's some players from around you know around the area, or maybe even from around the state, but most players, no players are used to having to compete with players around the country. Like no one, really nobody's done that at a young level, at a high school level. And so it's a totally different ball game. And there's just so many players out there. And I try to stress that the players that this is a competition and everybody is fighting for a limited amount of roster spots. And nothing is, nothing is just going to be given to anybody, regardless of, of, who you play for or how much money you've put into it or how many hours you've prior or any of that stuff. Like, There's no guarantee. And I want to make sure I stress that in these videos, not to make it seem like, oh, this is an impossible feat because it's not an impossible feat. But in my experience, and I've been now doing college recruiting stuff for a little over five years, whether it was coaching in college or, or now running a travel ball program and helping players get into college, and then I also obviously went through it myself when I was a player. In my experience, most players just, and most families and parents don't have a clear understanding of what it's going to be like. And most think it's going to be like really, really easy. No matter how many times I tell players this and parents this, they don't, there's always lots and lots of them that are, that are shocked. And they're like, I don't understand. How, how am I not, 
how, you know, how are we not just going to play where we want to play? Or how are we not, why, why aren't the calls just flooding in? And, you know, for some players it does. But for a lot of players, it's not that easy. And you're going to have to do a whole lot of work. And so that's why I'm making the videos is to, is to educate people. Because I spend pretty much every single day for me is in some way during that day going to be... I'm going to be dealing with recruiting, right? So I'm either reaching out to schools, I'm either fielding phone calls and emails, and I do it every day. So I'm constantly talking to coaches, and I get a really good understanding of of what um, of what coaches want and of the reality of of college baseball and the recruiting process. And not every obviously, if you know players that have never been through it before and parents that have never been through it before don't really have any idea. And no matter how much people tell you, there's nothing like actually doing it. I hear that all the time from parents and from players after the fact. You know, when, when everything's done, they're like, wow, that was nothing what I, I didn't expect any of that. That's not a, anything what I expected. And so that's why I'm trying, <laughs> trying to give as much info in these videos so people can get kind of an idea, even though most don't, won't really believe it until they actually go through it. So hopefully that makes sense for you guys and hopefully that helps you out. Um, and I'm going to keep throwing up the videos um, to help. So thanks again for watching. Comment in the section below. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video with all your friends. All that good stuff. Check out the description box below. We've got a bunch of stuff going on down there. We've got a deal going on with Plate Crate. If you click, click the link, type in Antonelli, uh, you'll get 50% off your first Plate Crate. Also have our Patreon page where you can support the channel. Thank you so much if you already are. We've gotten more and more people doing that recently, so thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Got a bunch of other stuff down there as well to check out. And that's all I got, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later.